टू द हिंदू कैलेंडर एकादशी डेट ऑफ कृष्ण पक्ष ऑफ ज्येष्ठ मंथ इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज अपरा एकादशी अपरा एकादशी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अचला एकादशी जल क्रीड़ा एकादशी एंड भद्रकाली एकादशी वर्शिपिंग लॉर्ड विष्णु ऑन अपरा एकादशी हैज इट्स ओन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑन अपरा एकादशी डिवोटीज फास्ट फॉर द होल डे एंड ऑफ अ प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड विष्णु इन द इवनिंग विच इन टर्न गिव्स दैम द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट it is also believed that the good and holy deeds of ekadashi are immense and so by merely observing this fast all the sins of a person are destroyed according to the padma puran fasting on this ekadashi gets devotees immersed in the divine heavenly love of lord of the world and he does not have to suffer the pain of rebirth as phantom it is said that the person who observes apra ekadashi fast all his troubles are removed and he gets happiness prosperity and good fortune according to mythological beliefs by observing this fast not only lord vishnu but also goddess lakshmi becomes happy and fills the devotee's house with all the materialistic desires of the devotees mahurat time for apra ekadashi ekadashi will start on 17th may 1244 noon and will end on 18th may at 308 noon अपरा एकादशी पारण मुहूर्त 19th मे बिटवीन 5 आवर्स 27 मिनट्स एंड 52 सेकंड्स टिल 8 आवर्स 11 मिनट्स 49 सेकंड्स नाउ लेट अस नो अबाउट द पूजा प्रोसेस और द पूजा विधि ऑफ अपरा एकादशी लॉर्ड विष्णु इज वर्शिप्ड अलोंग विद हिज वामन अवतार ऑन द डे ऑफ अपरा एकादशी इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट बाय वर्शिपिंग लॉर्ड वामन man becomes free from all the sins on the other hand a person observing apra ekadashi fast gets the same fruits as the bath in charity in kurukshetra taking bath in the river ganga has special significance on this day if this is not possible then put some ganga jal in the water and take bath the worship of lord vishnu on apra ekadashi begins a day prior that is on the night of dashmi food should not be taken after sunset on dashmi tithi You should wake up before sunrise and take the bath by mixing Ganga jal in your bathing water and wear clean clothes and meditate Lord Vishnu. Place the picture of Lord Vishnu and the image of Vaman avatar by laying a yellow cloth on a wooden stand on the east side. After this, lit the diya and do the kalash sthapana. After this, offer Ganga jal to Lord Vishnu and his Vaman avatar. Tilak with roli akshat and offer white flowers. Offer fruits, betel leaves, betel nuts, coconut, cloves, etc. According to your capacity, and sit on the yellow asan. While worshiping Vishnu, remember to offer basil leaves. Pray to Lord Vishnu to end all your problems by taking water in your right hand. Fast throughout the day. Listen to the story of Apra Ekadashi in the evening. In the evening, lit a cow's ghee diya in front of Lord Vishnu and near Mother Tulsi. One should not sleep at night. Prayers to the Lord should be performed. On the next day at Paran give brahmins and poor people food as per your capacity and give away dakshina after this take food and water to complete your fast Now let us know the story of Apra Ekadashi There are many mythological stories about Apra Ekadashi According to one of the stories there was a very religious and able king named Mahidwaj who had a younger brother Vajradwaj Vajradwaj was greedy and sinful He used to hate Mahidwaj and conspired to kill him. Once he succeeded in his plan and killed Mahidwaj and threw him into the forest and started ruling himself. Now due to the untimely death Mahidwaj had to live the life of a phantom. He lived on a peepal tree. After his death the people were saddened by his vicious brother in the state. Now Mahidwaj also used to trouble people as he was the ghost now. Once a very prominent sage was passing by the forest he realized that a ghost was trying to tease him with his divine powers he saw his past and started thinking about how to improve his future first of all he apprehended the phantom and taught him the lesson of goodness then for his salvation he himself did the apra ekadashi fast and took the resolution and donated the deeds of his fast for the betterment of the phantom Thus Mahidwaj was freed from the phantom life and received all the heavenly deeds. According to another legend, once a king built an incredibly beautiful garden in his kingdom. 
There were so many beautiful flowers in this garden that even the gods could not live without getting attracted and so they would steal the flowers from the garden. The king was upset with this theft and all the efforts to save the constantly desolate garden seemed to fail. Everyone guessed that no human being has the courage to do so and it must be some divine power. Courtiers suggested that the flowers which we offer at the feet of Lord Shri Hari should be put around the garden and then see if it makes sense or not. The gods and apsaras came as usual, but unfortunately an apsara fell on one of the flowers offered to Lord Vishnu, ending all her virtues and could not fly back with the other companions. At dawn, the king was informed about this unique woman. The king too became enchanted after seeing her. Apsara confessed her crime, narrated the whole story and repented for her actions. Then the king asked her how can he help her. She said that if any of the countrymen observes the fast of Jesht Krishna Ekadshi and donates the virtue to her, then she can return back to the heaven. The king made the announcement in his state and also fixed the prize money, but there was no enthusiastic response. The king offered to give half of the kingdom as the prize money, but no one came forward. No one had even heard about the Akadshi fast. The distressed Apsara remembered Chitragupta. Then after seeing from his book account, he informed that unknowingly Akadshi fast has been done in the town by a rich person's wife. If she takes a resolution and donate the virtue of the fast, then it can be counted and the Apsara can return back to heaven. Apsara told this to the king. The king respectfully called that rich saint and Satani and she donated the virtue of her fast to the Apsara so that Apsara returned back to heaven. But before that, she thanked the king and his countrymen. At the same time, according to the king's promise, the king gave half of the kingdom to Set Sethani. The king by now has understood the importance of Apraikadshi fast. He made the fast of Apraikadshi compulsory for all the men and women of his state. Lord Shri Krishna told Maharaj Yudhishthir the purpose of Apraikadshi. Shri Krishna told Yudhishthir that Apraikadshi is the provider of virtue and the destroyer of great sins. Suppressed by Brahmatya, Gotravatya, killing of the unborn child, a womanizer. All become free from the sin by observing the fast of Apraikadshi and becomes revered in Sri Vishnu Lok. Dear devotees, the glory of Apraikadshi fast is the same as bathing in Prayag when the sun is in Capricorn in Maghanakshatra, fasting in Kashi on Shivratri, Pindadan in Gaya, bathing in Godavari in Taurus Nakshatra, Darshan of Lord Kedar in Badrik Ashram or Solar Eclipse in Kurukshetra. The fruit equivalent to bathing and charity is found in just one fast of Apra Ekadshi. By worshipping Lord Vaman and by fasting on Apra Ekadshi, man is freed from all the sins.